Hi everybody. So in this video, we're going to cover one of my favorite topics, which is chopping up samples into smaller pieces. And this is a technique that's been used uh, way before Sonic Pi was around. This is how a lot of early hip hop music was produced in that people would record a sample off of another record, something someone else had did, and they would take it and they would chop it into smaller pieces and then rearrange those pieces to create sort of a collage or a new unique piece of music using other sounds that they had found, but kind of changing it enough so that it made it more original and authentic to them. Um, so we're going to look at two different ways we can do that in Sonic Pi using something called the slice option and something called the onset option. Okay, so what I'm going to start with first is a sample here. Uh, I'm going to use loop samples to this. So I have the Amen full loop here. Okay, so again, this is a breakbeat, uh, which was taken from a song called Amen Brother by a group called the Winston. So that is a drum part in the middle of the song where all the other instruments drop out and just the drummer plays. And that has been sampled and reused in uh, well over a thousand songs at this point. Okay, so uh, we are now going to chop this sample up into little pieces. So slice we're going to look at first. Now the way slice works is it takes the full sample and it chops it up into even pieces. All right. So it's basically like if we had a pizza pie and we cut it up into eight equal slices, uh, the slice option we're going to use is going to cut up a sample into even pieces and we can uh, determine the number of pieces that we want to use. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is uh, find the number of slices, which is this uh, option here, num underscore slices. Okay, so I'm going to chop this sample up into eight even pieces here. All right, and then what I do is I go for slice, which is the next option. And slice is just saying, which one of the slices of this sample do you want to play? Do you want to play the first slice, the second slice, the third slice, the fourth slice? Uh, however many slices you have, you then choose which slice you want to play. Okay. Now, one thing to be clear about, if I want to play the first slice, we're dealing with sort of computer rules here. So the first thing is always numbered as zero, not one, but zero. If you think back to the last lesson where we talked about arrays and accessing the index of an array, we always, the first number in the array is always referred to by index as zero. It's the same thing here. So I'm going to put zero and that will give me the first slice uh, from this sample. Okay, so there I hear that. If I want to hear the second slice, I do one. If I want to do the third, I do two. I could do three. All right, I could do six. I think if I do like nine, it's just good. If I do anything above the number of slices, uh, which in this case would be seven. So if I start at zero, I go to seven. Seven would be the eighth slice. Uh, then it's just going to give me the last slice each time. So let's go back to zero here. Okay, so this is how now I can chop this sample up and just play part of that sample. And this works for all samples too. It doesn't just go with loops. Okay, but now let's say I want to put this sample into a live loop and just repeat that one slice over and over and over again. So I can make a live loop here. I'm going to call it chop. Uh, I'm gonna have my do and my end, and then I get to my sleep, okay? So there's a few ways I could do this. I could do sleep duration, and I could divide that by the number of slices, but I'm gonna wanna you add other loops later, so I'm gonna go back first and go to use sample BPM, uh, which we also covered uh, when we dealing with loop samples, okay? So in this case, I want to use the sample BPM of this. So remember this function will make the BPM equal to one beat is the entire length of the sample. And then I have the option to change how many beats go for the sample by adding the option num beats. Okay. In this case, I'm going to make eight beats. So uh, if I sleep for eight beats, it would play the in through the entire sample equally and then come back around. But here's the issue. If I do sleep eight here with my slice and num slices, okay, I hear that sound. I heard the slice, but then there's a big pause, and then it comes back around again. So what? Why is this happening? So again, I chopped this sample up into eight equal pieces. All right. Um, so if I were to play this 
without these options, just the sample by itself, and I said it has eight beats, here's what will happen. So it loops around evenly because I've set the number of beats in that sample to eight, and if I sleep for eight, it'll go through the entire sample and loop back around. But Keep in mind, I've now chopped this sample up into eight pieces, and if I'm only playing one of those pieces, that is going to be one eighth of the length of the full sample. So if I only if I chop it up into eight pieces, I only play one piece. That's one eighth of the full length. All right. So for sleep, I need to then do a little bit of math, which is I'm going to divide the number of beats that I have by the number of slices that I have. Okay, and in this case, eight divided by eight would be one. Now I could maybe make variables or I could do like eight divided by eight or I could make this A and this B and do sleep is A divided by B and then have to make a variable up here, which could work and that's good if you wanna make changes as you go, but I'm just gonna keep it simple here. So I got eight beats, I have eight slices, so one slice is equal to one sleep, right? So number of beats divided by number of slices. So now if I do this, So now I get a loop of just that one slice, okay? So now let's see if I loop two. All right, let's try three. All right, that's sounding very familiar because again, we're gonna get some repetition in the drum beat. Let's try six. Okay, so now you can see that you don't, this kind of like start and finish that we looked at when we first learned about samples and options that go with samples, but this makes it much more easy to sort of find the exact number and, it, and parts and stuff like that. Okay, so now you can sort of make different patterns or decide, oh, I only want this chunk of the sample to loop and play, but I want it to be even. So now let's look at, let's say I want to play a, uh, a pattern of slices. Like I want to have the second slice and then I want to have the fifth slice and then I want to have the first slice and I want to have the fourth slice. So that is easy. All I would need to do then is make a ring. So let's do, I'll do the, maybe the uh, first slice, which is zero. I'll then do, let's say the fourth slice, then maybe the sixth and then the fifth. So I have a ring. So it will play this slice, then this slice, then this slice and this slice. And then I'll just do dot tick and that will bring it through. So here we go. So again, I could flip it around. Maybe I do like three here. Let's try this with uh, one. Okay, so now this becoming a way that I can create patterns. So I can make sort of new drum beats that have the similar feel to this Amen loop, but I can kind of create different ones that I, that fit my own preference. Okay. So that's one way you could do it. I could make this, you know, five values. I can make it eight values. So there, you could really play around with the ring as well. Now let's say we wanted to do a random slice. So every time through the loop, we want to have just randomly choose one of the eight slices that we have here. Okay. Uh, so I could do an array or a ring and then just say pick out of this array, but there's actually something built in here where I can just write the word pick. Okay, so pick, kind of like choose, will just pick a slice. So pick is something I can use as a, uh, an argument to this. So this time it will just pick each different, uh, a different slice each time at random. So that being a way that I could really play around and get some interesting patterns and maybe ones that I'm not even anticipating. I'm gonna show you very quickly, uh, let's say with this, I wanna change the number of slices. So now I'm gonna make 16 slices. So I have more slices to choose from, uh, but keep in mind here, I'll run it. So 
why is that happening? Why do I get a sound and then a little bit of space? Because I need to adjust my sleep value here. So remember, number of beats divided by number of slices. Eight divided by 16 is 0 0.5. Five. And this is why sometimes getting into a variable might help because then you can sort of change things quickly and then you don't have to go through and change all the other things, all right? But let's hear what this sounds like now. So many interesting combinations. Again, I could maybe make this like 32 and change that to 2.5. I'm gonna leave it here, okay? So one more thing now, let's say you want random slices chosen, but you want like a specific pattern. You want that pattern to repeat so it's not just completely random the whole time, all right? So all we need to add for that is I'm gonna first do a use uh, random seed. Okay, and then just pick a number here. And then I'm gonna just choose like how many, different slices do I want to hear before the pattern repeats. So let's say I want 16 different slices. Okay, so that's different from the number of slices. This is just it's going to pick a slice at random. So it's going to pick 16 uh, random slices, you will probably get some repeated slices in there. But this will give me now a pattern that I will hear repeat over and over again. Here, I'll make it even, I'll make it short so we can really hear that repetition. Okay, that sounds, and I could always change the number here. Okay, so I could change how many I want in here, change the number of slices here, just to very quickly as well. Maybe I want to change the beat. I'm going to go, I don't know, let's try this break beat here for a second. So I could easily just substitute these two samples and then try this. Okay, depending on how the beat sounds. So once you have sort of this basic structure here, you can then just have to make tweaks. You can swap out the, the sample and try a different sample. You could try different slices. You could make patterns of that. So lots of things you can then do using this num slices and slice to chop up all these samples into uh, even pieces. Yeah, you can even try this with a, uh, not a loop sample, okay? But I'm kind of showing you how it can work to create more interesting drum patterns and stuff like that, all right? So the next video, we'll talk about onset, which sort of slightly different from slice as far as chopping samples up.